Okay, EA, it took you like two days, two, three days, and we get a paid Evo in the building. The octopus, in all fairness, the boost looks good, but it's already with the paid Evo. Surely you can just sprinkle a little bit of free Evos to us beforehand. Either way, this looks promising if you're willing to pay the big coin, 50k, 750 SE points. Maybe you've got some of your pre-order points still kicking about. We get CDM holding plus plus upgrade, which could be really, really nice. Bring a player closer to the heroic strength of Blaze Matweedy. Okay. For cheap and fast EFC 25 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com. Link at the top of the description and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to save yourself 5% off your order. Okay, it's also got partial boost by the looks of it. So as you can see, the little numbers next to the plus two and plus four on pace and physical, they're max cap. So can't go any higher than that. We get the playstyle intercept, which is tidy. Also first touch and of course the holding. Okay, max 81 rating though. Like Basuma's looking decent. Spurs fans, you've got a fantastic start of CDM there. Is he worth 50k though? That's the question. The boost is pretty big actually, the dribbling. Bentico is looking pretty good. Four star, four star. Obviously not for me being an Arsenal fan, but you know, could be for someone else out there. Coffee, nothing crazy. I think my club is looking a little bit bare to be fair. Gravenberg, honestly looks decent. Like if you compare this though, to some of the cards we we're looking at yesterday with the, uh, the free Evo, the from box to box, they looked better. And that's free. Either way, six free. Four star, four star. He's got some height about him. Will be pretty decent. Zhao Gomez. Oh, okay. Shooting. Yeah, no. But CDM, you, the holding role. Player roles, crazy important this year. And I'm really enjoying learning about them as much as I can. And that holding role, it's important. I use Alaba there right now. The flashback, he doesn't have a plus there. So I'm almost tempted to maybe mix it up. Oh, okay, so it's just the holding plus, is it? I swear I said holding plus plus upgrade. It's a little bit fishy. Maybe it's a graphical bug. Maybe it's a graphical bug. I hope it isn't. Either way, Zhao Gomez it does look decent. Uh, I'm pretty certain. Maybe Kobe Minu might fit this? Yes, I've got him in the club. Oh, he does. I mean, maybe there's a chain here. This is a good card as well. 82 rated with the holding plus. I have a feeling he's going to feel good in game. Could be a decent shout for a potential early Evo. Looking to chain it. I wonder if you can chain it with intro to stat limits. We'll check shortly on Football GG. Um, I'm pretty certain I saw Renato Sanchez as well, which is slightly scary. The man already fits an Evo. Oh no. Four oh, he's 4-4 four four as well. This could be deadly, you know. I'm not look I'm not looking the uh, liking the look of this man. I mean he's obviously in Liga Portugal now, so slightly a little bit a little bit difficult to link in. But the stats still look fantastic. The boost is very, very respectable, and it should be. If we're paying coins at this stage of the game, we should demand a crazy, crazy nice boost. Christy, nothing crazy. I think we're pretty satisfied with what's in the club. Let's go to Fuddle GG and have a little gander. See what is lurking on the octopus. Fantastic name. Uh, <laughs> by the way, smash the like if you enjoyed the Evo content. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. And let's have a little gander. Xiao Gomez. Was this the Xiao Gomez? Okay, so you oh you can chain him from box to box. Oh, okay, potential then. I mean, does this one look? Yeah, tiny bit better. Tiny bit. It's fractional at that point. You're just getting a bit more shooting. It might not even be worth it in all fairness because from box to box provides some good cards as it is. This is more of a holding CDM. So you're looking for more defensive reassurance. You don't really need a boost to the shooting and passing. It's nice though. So we're not complaining. Adley, by the way. Looks good, but the commitment's a little bit too far. Freestyle, freestyle, probably not going to be worth it for most of us out there. Another Spurs, man. Is this like a Spurs-based Evo? Because Ishmael, is this, it's not Ishmael Asar, is it? Papa Matasar, that's it. From box to box. What's the one and done looking like? By the way, my uh, key light, in case you've realised, not in my usual setup, is flashing at points. So if it starts flashing, just ignore it. It's two-star, three-star, which is not ideal. Who did I see a second ago there? Wharton almost Hullet Gang, by the way. Okay, we have got a hooligan card right here. This is going to be a chain though, isn't it? Almost positive. It is an absolute madness. i tell you what. I want to turn chains off real quick. Can we just do the octopus, please? Because some of these chains are crazy. I feel like if you've got intro to stat limits, you want to be using that on something else. You don't want to be wasting it. Well, it's not wasting, but I feel like you're better off utilizing that with a forward chain. Like Endrick, for example. Definitely check him out. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a chain though. Okay, so... Okay, maybe let's take it back a second. Gravenberg 6-3. Holding plus plus. 
he's going to be an absolute animal in the middle of the park, you know. And that is with, from box to box. So definitely respectable. I feel like from box to box, I don't mind chaining that. Uh, it's the intro to stat limits that I feel like is a little bit wasted. Morita looks decent. O'Reilly almost in the Hullet Gang. Another Spurs man, Basuma, we looked at a second ago. I do wonder if you can chain Kobe Mino. Uh, that's an interesting shout. I'll see if we can find him. Uh, let me know, by the way, if I miss anybody, as always. I'm always open to your guys' suggestions with Evos. Myself, I'm yet to commit to a lot of them. I'm actually trying to save the from box to box in case Eze fits this rumoured cam one, which might be changed now. I'm not too sure. Leakers are all over the place on Twitter. Cataldi doesn't look bad for Serie A teams, but still not mind-blowing. I think the obvious heavy hitters we've seen so far are Jao Gomez and that Gravenberch. He is definitely the go-to guy when it comes to Evo so far. Fagioli. Dribbling looks good, you know. He doesn't really look like a holding midfielder, though. You're definitely doing a chain, right? From box to box, into the stat limits, into octopus. Uh, he looks decent. Like, this card here looks decent, but for 50k? Is he 50k worth a decent? Oh, hello. Kefren. Intro to stat limits. Let's ignore this one. Let's check this one out. Just a one and done. 50k for this card is too much. It's way too much. That's the issue. I feel like... The only way you should be doing this is if you're maybe got FC points from your pre-order saved on your account. Either way, that's still 750 FC points, which is a fair chunk, you know. Like, it's not cheap. EA really are pricing this a little bit too premium for my liking. Luis Mila looked de uh, decent in there as well. Nothing crazy. Gori doesn't look too bad in all fairness. I mean, there's some decent cards, but nothing mind-blowing. Apart from Gravenberch, that one Gravenberch card is the only one. Oh, I changed my mind. He's back in business. I've just seen a few bangers, actually. I love this man. This man's storyline last year on my RTG was fantastic. And this card looks brilliant. Like as a, He's probably definitely more of a box-to-box. -box. You do get that plus roll. But you could play him as a holding and maybe have him kind of bombing forward on your own accord. Lean tool, fantastic stats. He'll be a decent shout for sure. Uh, Mangala. Ridiculous dribbling. He's only 3-3. I mean, just as an out-and-out, out, like, sitting, holding midfielder. He looks good. Passing's decent. Short pass and long pass. But then again, 50k. Is it worth it? You've got to ask yourself that question. Because me personally, I'm not splashing 50k on 83 rated cards. That is one thing for sure. Lavia fits in this as well. If it was free, maybe we're talking. We did actually really enjoy his silver card last year. I thought that was pretty decent. Uh, another Graven Virginia, the Kone. I mean, Taram looks nice. Sambi Lakonga. Eh, nothing crazy, man. The issue with these early paid Evos, I feel like EA don't want to juice it too much, which is understandable because we are in the early game. But at the same time, you kind of need to because we're paid a reasonable price for this. Let me quickly search up Kobe, or Kobe, my bad, and see what we are saying. Mr. Kobe Mainu, your evolutions, my son. We do have an intro to stat limits. Okay, so we can chain him, and we get this 83 rated card, but 86 dribbling. <laughs> this key light flashes, man. I need to figure it out. Anyone know why an Algato key light flashes? Let me know down below. I mean, one of them to the Octopus is still a decent card. 50k, people will probably pay that, or 70 for DFC points. But the intro to stat limits, we get an extra two to the dribbling, plus three to the shooting, and that's it. It's not bad, to be fair. I feel like you're probably better off just doing the one and done to uh, the Octopus, though, being real with you. But he's definitely like the standout for me purely because of the hype factor and how good I think he can possibly be in this game. If we're talking like just pure stats alone, it's 100% going to be Ryan Gravenberch because that card is mad. Give him a chem style to boost the shooting and defend him, you're flying. To be fair, Bonnie could just give him a shadow. An out and out shadow just to max out the speed and defend him. Play him as that holding midfielder alongside a more defensive, like out and out defensive uh, DM. He could be crazy nice. And that's a chain that's pretty easy to get done. I also like the look of Taram, but probably not for 50k. Matasar, not bad. Adley, no chance. Gomez again. 50k is a bit steep. Similar to the other Spurs boys we looked at, Basuma uh, and uh, Bentaker. I think, in my opinion, we're looking at Kobe as being the heavy hitter and Ryan Gravenberg. Let me know what you think down below. Have you started your Evo-themed account yet? Are you picking certain players? I'm all ears. I want to hear from you. I'm starting my RTG tomorrow, so I'm excited for that. Smash a like if you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'll catch you later.